So let me revise. Memories and storages might be having the same meaning in your life, but for your syllabus, these are two different things. So primary memories are called memories and all those memories which are not primary are storage devices. So primary memories are those which can be accessed by the microprocessor directly. And secondary memories are those, secondary storage devices are those which, program, which processor cannot access directly. So whatever that you need to do with the computer, you have to bring that from the secondary storage to the primary memory. Yes, Shifa, it is. So let's just talk about primary memory. So primary memory is having two forms. RAM and ROM. So RAM is volatile, means that loses the data as soon as the power is disconnected and ROM does not. What RAM holds? RAM holds the part of the operating system, current program and their data. Now what ROM, ROM holds? ROM holds bootstrap loader <coughs> bootstrap loader and basic input output systems you don't have to be worried about bootstrap loader or basic input output system bios all you need to remember is these are the programs which are required by the system to boot up to start that's it so what RAM does? RAM keeps the system running. And what ROM does? It helps the system to boot up. Boot up as in start. Start to the point where the operating system which is installed over the secondary storage is loaded and the control is transferred to you. All right. So RAM is having, it can be altered. It cannot be altered. Once made, it is made for good. And ROM has nothing to do with the user. As user in our system, in our cell phones, in our tabs, in our desktops, in our laptops, we never mean to change ROM whatsoever. Once the system is boot up, ROM is used. That's it. No more use. Whereas RAM is always used. If there is no RAM, nothing works. So that's about ROM. That's about it. Now RAM. Now there are two types of RAMs. The one that is outside the microprocessor called DRAM. DRAM means dynamic RAM. The one that is held inside the microprocessor's housing, the jacket of the microprocessor, that is called SRAM. SRAM as in static RAM. In general, this static RAM is called cache. You may call them cache. What it is called? Cache.
Cache are those memories which help the system to work properly. What is Bootstrap Loader? Bootstrap Loader is the program that helps computer to boot up. BIOS is the program which also helps the computer to boot up. That's it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So now, what is DRAM as in dynamic RAM and what is SRAM as in static RAM? DRAM is basically made up of transistors, oh sorry, capacitors. It is made up of capacitors. Capacitors are those devices which are basically holding up on the electricity for some time. They can save kya karna hai? Save karna hai ones or zeros. Ones or zeros kis tarikhe se save ho rahe? Electricity se. So capacitor mein agar voltage hai to one nahi hai to zero. All right. Shifa, you better ask me questions in WhatsApp group. Do not disturb this lecture beta here. Okay. So DRAM is basically made up of capacitors. Capac capacitors are basically the devices which basically cannot hold on the voltage or the data for long. They get leaked. Data थोड़ी देर में जब उसके अंदर आप देखें data का मतलब यहाँ पे पूरा data नहीं है data का मतलब है यहाँ पे binary bit है bit zero or one so if you hold it capacitor के अंदर थोड़ा सा voltage होगा वो leak हो जाएगा थोड़ी देर में static RAM is made up of flip flops Flip flops are the circuits which do not leak. All right, flip flops are the circuits which do not leak. So data is not leaked. So now what basically happens is the data is leaked. So system needs to refresh it. Capacitor takes a little time for the data and then it leaks. So before it get leaked, system system basically refreshes it. Dubara bhar data. System keeps refreshing capacitors. So all of the capacitors are being refreshed. Achha, is refresh only ki wajah se kya hota hai? कि जो मेमोरी की डेटा को देने की रफ्तार है ना आप कोई मॉड मसरूफ है आप उससे बोलते हैं यार जरा ये देना तो वो थोड़ा सा टाइम लेता है क्योंकि वो मसरूफ है तो डीरैम जो है वो ज्यादातर अपना टाइम जो है ना वो डेटा को रिफ्रेश करने में गुजार देती है तो उससे डेटा का रिट्रीवल स्लो होता है इसीलिए हम इसको डायनामिक कहते हैं दैट्स वाइट इज कॉल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ रिफ्रेशिंग डायनामिक अच्छा अब देखें स्टैटिक रैम को स्टैटिक क्यों बोलते हैं इसलिए स्टैटिक कहते हैं कि उसमें डाटा लीक नहीं होता डाटा वन सेव्ड
remains there without being refreshed. It is static. ठीक अब इसकी एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं इसकी एग्जाम्पल ऐसे है जैसे आपके पास एक ग्लास है प्लास्टिक का और उसकी बेस में क्रैक है इफ यू फिल इट एंड यू यू आर आस्ट टू कीप इट फिल्ड सो यू कैन नॉट बिकॉज द बेस इज क्रैक्ट नाउ द टाइम द टाइम दैट यू basically uh for the time in which you are basically holding up on the water is inversely proportional to the size of the crack bada jitna crack hoga utni jaldi pani gir jayega aur jitna chhota crack hoga utni der mein pani girega but in any case you will have to refill the glass in any case you would have to refill the glass sometimes faster because the crack is bigger sometimes slower because the crack is smaller but you would have to refresh so if you are given this task to keep the glass filled you will have to actually refresh it refresh it refresh it theek hai so अब डायनामिक रैम कौन सी होती है मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ ये जो रैम के मॉड्यूल्स हम लगा है ना ये डायनामिक रैम होती है See, these are the dynamic RAMs. ये RAM के वो modules हैं जो हम computer के अंदर लगाते हैं. Although this RAM, this dynamic RAM is outside the microprocessor, but it is considered as the part of microprocessor. Dynamic RAM एक term हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं input output devices के लिए जिनको हम कहते हैं peripherals. RAM peripheral नहीं होती. क्यों पेरिफरल नहीं होती क्योंकि ये कंप्यूटर के प्रोसेसर का हिस्सा है अगर आप रैम निकाल देंगे तो प्रोसेसर कभी भी सिस्टम मतलब सिस्टम ऑन ही नहीं होगा ठीक है सो ये कंप्यूटर की मेमोरीज है रैम है ये मदरबोर्ड पे लग जाती है ये लैपटॉप की रैम है ये डेस्कटॉप की रैम है साइज में देखे डिफरेंस है ये जो लंबी सी होती है ये डेस्कटॉप की होती है जो छोटी सी होती है ये लैपटॉप की होती है लेकिन इनका एक ही काम ठीक है तो ये रैम है कैशे की हम शेप नहीं देख सकते क्योंकि वो तो प्रोसेसर के अंदर होती है स्टैटिक रैम तो प्रोसेसर के अंदर होती है तो हम उसको देख नहीं सकते ठीक है तो Why it is dynamic? Because it is keep refreshing itself. It is keep refreshing itself. Why it is static? Because it does not keep itself refreshed. Once the data is there, it is there. अच्छा, dynamic RAM जो है, ये जो RAM का मैंने आपको अभी module दिखाया था, it is, it consumes. Less power, as in less electricity is consumed, and. SRAM it consumes more. Then it can hold on more data than static RAM. it holds less data than data
ठीक है इट कैन बी अपग्रेडेड आपने देखा कि ये तो एक रैम का मॉड्यूल है आपने निकाला आपने ज्यादा रैम लगा दी इट कैन बी अपग्रेडेड सेपरेटली सेपरेटली मीन्स विदाउट चेंजिंग द प्रोसेस इट कैन नॉट बी अपग्रेडेड until the whole processor because it is inside the processor is changed all right so this is enough for dram and sram now so this is primary memory primary memory is ram and rom why it is primary because it can be accessed by the microprocessors processor directly now secondary memory why do we call it secondary memory because processor cannot access it directly rather you would have to load the program and the data from the secondary memory to the primary memory primary memory is part of the microprocessor primary memory is the part of microprocessor mind it this is absolutely necessary to be remember theek hai now secondary memory secondary memory is the memory which is held inside the inside the computer's box if it is your phone it is inside the phone if it is your laptop it is inside the laptop and if it is your ipad or tab it is inside ipad or tab all right relatively primary memory se secondary memory mein bahut sara data hota hai jisko hum hard disk bolte hain ya ssd bolte hain wo secondary memory se and these are always online now what are these terms online and offline online has not especially to do something with internet or the network it is a wrong thought that online has something to do with the internet or the network it is part of it but exclusively it is not the reason for online to online kya hai online hai ki jab kisi data ki program ki zarurat processor ko pade to wo processor ko readily available ho jaye bagair kisi human intervention ke to jo hard disk hai aur jo ye ssd hai ye to apne laptop ke andar hi lagi hui hai na तो जैसे ही सिस्टम ऑन होता है वो सिस्टम उसको एक्सेस करना शुरू कर देता है बेसिकली जो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लोड होता है वो उसी हार्ड डिस्क से तो लोड होता है जब आप फोन को रीस्टार्ट करते हैं तो जो उसके अंदर एंड्रॉइड या आईओएस लोड होता है तो उसकी हार्ड डिस्क से ही तो लोड होता है ऑनलाइन मीन्स वेन एवर द डेटा दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज रेडिली अवेलेबल विदाउट ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गॉट दिस यूएस ड्राइव यूएस बी फ्लैश पिन ड्राइव it is usb pin drive it is in my hand it is offline but if i if i attach it with the computer and i access a file from it it is online why because the file inside this usb is 
readily available to the computer through the port because now it is attached. So if it says over a bank branch that this bank branch is online, it means that if you have account in any other branch, no issue, come to our branch, do transact the way you like, and it will be updated over the computers of that branch because our computers are connected. That is why this branch is online. आप अभी मेरी क्लास ही ऑनलाइन देख रहे हैं क्यों क्योंकि मेरा कंप्यूटर आपका कंप्यूटर इंटरनेट से कनेक्टेड है मैं आपको ब्लूटूथ से फाइल ट्रांसफर कर सकता हूं व्हाई बिकॉज दैट इज पॉसिबल बट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू बी ऑनलाइन विद माय सेल फोन सो फर्स्ट आई विल बी कनेक्टेड विद योर सेल फोन यूजिंग ब्लूटूथ एंड देन आई विल ट्रांसफर द फाइल सो वी विल बी ऑनलाइन इफ वन एटीएम इज सेइंग दैट सॉरी दिस मशीन इज ऑफलाइन it is out of order it it only means that the computer the atm itself is working but the server with which it is basically connected is not reachable so if the cd is placed inside the cd drive then it is online if you take it out put it in the jewel case the case of cd then it is offline so get the idea so secondary storages are those which are housed inside the dabba the box of the computer whether it is laptop we call it system if it is housed inside the system whether it is a desktop computer bigger system or laptop a shorter smaller system it is said to be the secondary secondary is always online so we have got two types of hard disk drive and solid state drive but when you are referring to these specifically in terms of secondary storage aap isko bolenge fixed hard disk drive or fixed solid state drive all right and then there are those memories which you can like this usb flash drive or cd drive that you can detach from the computer and you can carry it away you can port it you can take it to another computer you can take it to another computer such type of devices are called offline so what are offline devices that you can take out that you can detach that you can attach with the usb a b c port you can use them to port the data first of all these might be hard disk drive and solid state drive but in this case you will call them portable these are not held inside the dabba of the computer inside the box of the computer they can be portable these are portable drives i have one i'll show it in my next class portable you keep it in your pocket and in your bag and whenever you like you can attach them to the computer using one of the usb c usb a usb b all right and then you have got flash drive flash drive you call it sometime thumb drive sometimes you call it a uh, pen drive theek okay? hai usb flash drive usb drive is not the right word either you make it flash drive thumb drive pen drive or usb flash drive theek hai just usb drive is not the right word theek ho gaya then come cd rom dvd 
blue ray blue rays blue does not have e in it theek hai blue ray and then there is one special type called dvd ram these are called optical drives these are called what optical drive okay we might have more floppies floppy drive and all so us pe hum phir we will discuss about it all right so what is online offline when the file is required by the processor why it is required by the processor because you have asked aapne microsoft word load kiya ab uske andar koi file load karna cha rahe hain to agar wo file system mein hogi secondary storage mein hogi to wo mil jayegi aap usko primary mein load kar le that is online agar wo nahi hai to aapke paas kisi flash drive pe hogi wo aap lagayenge to aap kar lenge when you watch a movie which is over a dvd you have to put that dvd into the dvd player or the dvd rom so if it is in your hand if it is in your shelf it is offline but when you put it in the dvd drive or dvd player's drive then it becomes online so primary memory is the memory of the computer self which computer access is uh, access directly in every program that requires to be known to the computer so that computer could follow it has to be the primary memory that has to be loaded into the primary memory so load means just to bring it to the notice of computer by having it in primary memory download means ki aap kisi aur computer se apne computer mein load kar rahe hain internet zaruri nahi hai uske liye and upload आप अपने कंप्यूटर से किसी और कंप्यूटर में ट्रांसफर कर रहे हैं नेटवर्क से कर रहे हैं ब्लूटूथ से कर रहे हैं वाईफाई से कर रहे हैं वो अपलोड है राइट सेकेंडरी विच इज बेसिकली फिक्स्ड इनसाइड द बॉक्स विच वी डू नॉट रिप्लेस फ्रीक्वेंटली हार्ड डिस्क एस एस डी वन जी बी एस एस डी ड्राइव इज गुड इनफ फॉर इयर्स हार्ड डिस्क माइंड बी If it is one TB hard drive or two TB hard drive, it is also enough for years. We don't need to check, change it. So if it is inside the computer and it is called, then it is called fixed hard disk drive or fixed solid state drive. And if it is outside the computer, it is portable. It is offline. Then it is not secondary. It is offline. Then we have got flash drive, the CD, DVD, Blu-ray, DVD, RAM, and all. so this is basically a mind map for what we have to learn in this memories and storage devices there are two classification of all these devices that we have seen as of yet there is a classification classification with respect to distance from the microprocessor number 2 classification with respect to the manufacturing medium so distance from the microprocessor the closest one is ram
or wrong then secondary and then offline all right and if we don't call it ram or rom we can call it primary memories all right so now what are secondary either hard disk drive or solid state drive and what are offline flash drive that might be portable hard disk that might be ssd portable that might be floppy that might be cd dvd blu ray or dvd ram this is the distance from the microprocessor manufacturing medium that is medium of storage one magnetic means the data is saved magnetically second one is electronic data is saved in the form of electricity the voltage is stored third optical data is just retrieved using light optics means anything that is making use of light so we have seen primary secondary and offline so let's see medium of storage is magnetic magnetic is floppy and hard disk drive it is flash sd card xd card or ssd this is electronic then optical it is cd dvd blu ray or dvd ram let's start with magnetic and in magnetic we don't actually study floppy so we are just studying hard disk drive floppies are no, never asked for so magnetic magnetic is a drive which is circular in shape with a hole in between and if we look at it vertically sorry uh, laterally so it is like this if you see like this it would be a circular medium which is hard tough and if you look at it laterally lateral aise sides to ye aise aapko seedha nazar aayega whatever it is called a platter and in any hard disk there are many platters and then there are heads which are reading the data over the platter there are heads which are reading above which are reading below all right so hard disk has got platters in between the platters there are heads which are reading and writing data 
over and under the platter. Now, if it is the surface, the platter, and let's say if it is the head, it is so close, so close, the head to the surface, that this is your one single human hair. Looks like a cylinder. And this is, let's say, <laughs> a dust particle. So the thickness of the human hair is way more than the distance between the head and the surface and the dust particle itself. So this is human hair. And this is dust particle. This is head, which is reading or writing. And this is platter. So basically what happens that head charges or discharges the surface. If it is charged, it is one. If it is discharged, it is zero. Remember what we need to store, ones or zeros, because this is an electronic digital machine, the computer. And the data is being saved in, uh, dig, uh, magnetically. So the head magnetizes the surface, that is one. Head demagnetizes the surface, that is zero. That is how magnetic works. Then comes electronic solid state drives. Solid state drives. Now what is SSD, solid state? Why do we call it solid state? Because this magnetic hard disk drive, this is hard disk drive, HDD. This is solid state drive, SSD. Hard disk drive has moving parts. It's mechanical thing, mechanical. It's a machine. It's like car. There are so many moving parts in it. The platter is moving like this. The head is back and forth. And the data which is being saved is, is, is basically magnetically. And when it is retrieved, it is retrieved magnetically. And the disk has so many moving parts. On the other hand, Solid state drives are made up of circuits. Circuits are static. Only the current is flowing through these circuits. So that is why we call it static. There are no moving parts at all. Since the magnetic disk has got moving parts, it has moving parts it is mechanical it has short life why does it it has short life everything that is moving will will be what do we say it, uh, uh, Will be gone one day. जो भी चीज़ इस्तेमाल होती है, चलती है, तो ख़राब हो ही जाती है ना कुछ अरसे के बाद. All right. So faster the platter revolves, faster the data. Is accessed. Only starts working once 
the revolutions permanent once we decided rpm is reached जैसे जो हार्ड डिस्क आमतौर पे आजकल होती है ना ये हार्ड डिस्क सारी की सारी जो है वो 7200 rpm पे चलती है जस्ट टेलिंग यू दिस इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ योर सो so, जब तक वो 7200 पे रिवॉल्व करना शुरू नहीं करता डाटा डाटा एक्सेस नहीं होता इट इज चीपर इट डज नॉट कॉस्ट मच वेर एज सॉलिड स्टेट ड्राइव it is made up of transistors transistors hold on voltage the store voltage there are solid state drives made up of either the nand gate or nor gates and the logic gates padhe honge rpm ka full form bete hota hai revolutions per minute kitni bar wo har minute mein ghoomti hai nand gates ya yeah, nor gates theek hai jo nand gates se banne wali ssds hain unko hum kehte hain flash to ab aapke paas mein kya kya aa gaye flash drives aa gayi एस डी कार्ड आ गए या एक्स डी कार्ड आ गए एस डी और एक्स डी में फर्क होता है उसका इंक्रिप्शन का एक्स डी इज मोर सिक्योर बट दीज आर फ्लैश फ्लैश मीन्स अ ड्राइव विच इज मेड अप ऑफ नाइन गेट्स सिंगल बेट can be changed but a whole bunch of bits is changed ek bit bhi change karna hota hai na to pure bunch ko pad ke usme ek bit change karke ram mein fir usko wapas store karna padta hai इसमें कौन कौन सी होती हैं एस एस डीज होती हैं इसके अंदर सॉलिड स्टेट ड्राइव बड़ी हार्ड डिस्क की तरह इसमें अ सिंगल बेट कैन बी चेंज ठीक है अब सॉलिड स्टेट ड्राइव जो होती हैं वो थिनर होती हैं थिनर थिनर देन हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव अब हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव में देखें ना प्लेटर्स होते हैं प्लेटर्स जितने ज्यादा होंगे फिर उनके बीच में हेड्स होंगे वो और मोटी हो जाएगी भारी होगी ये थिन होती है इट हैज अ लार्जर लाइफ स्पेन ज्यादा अरसे चलती है थिनर होती है सिंस डेटा is stored electronically data access access ka kya matlab hota hai data ya to aap save kar rahe hain ya utha rahe hain data access is faster 
इसीलिए अगर कोई गेम खेलता है और उसका गेम स्लो चलता हो तो उसको कहते हैं यार एस लगा लो हार्ड डिस्क निकाल दो Yes, Nabiya, give me two more minutes, please. Since data is stored electronically, data is accessed faster. All right. So, In next class, we will discuss about CD, DVD, Blu-ray, and DVD RAM. So I have covered almost ninety percent of it. In next class, we will cover CD, DVD, DVD RAM, Blu-ray, and past paper questions. ठीक है? चल. Allah. Take care.